YouTube, it's Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mamas and when I went to Weight Watchers last week they had given a great Thanksgiving cheat sheet out so I wanted to share that with all of you for people who can't get to a meeting or just wanted to um, hear some tips on getting through the holiday and still staying on track. So some of my own personal tips are get your activity in in the morning whether it be a turkey trot in your town or going for a walk with the family or for yourself. Just get some activity in. This way you're already going into the day with having some calories burned. So me and Lori tomorrow are going to meet up at 9 and do our own little turkey trot around our town. So we'll get some activity in. This way you feel better that uh, you got some activity in before go into town on some turkey and also you want to make sure you eat breakfast and lunch don't do what I've done in the past and skip breakfast and skip lunch and save all your calories or points for the big meal and then you're just you know so hungry that you go overboard and binge because you didn't eat enough and you're like a wild animal so I plan on having a protein shake for breakfast and a small lunch, maybe a turkey sandwich, you know, turkey on a flatbread or something like that. Um, and then this way you're not going into the big meal being starving. So this way your head isn't so hungry that you can't think properly <laughs> about, you know, eating less and, and having a great meal. Um, also, I would suggest going in with a plan. So we're going to talk about some points values for some of the most popular Thanksgiving items and this way you can kind of go in with a plan, a loose plan, you know, you don't have to be so strict. Just have an idea of what you want to eat. You know, focus on what you want to splurge on you know hey maybe you don't like that green 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 bean casserole with all the cheese and soup and it's just not worth the points for you maybe you want to spend more points on stuffing so go in with a plan you know once your mental game is strong then you can carry that through the day and really feel like hey i was in control i did awesome today and also try to focus on family, you know, is, is Aunt Margie coming from Pennsylvania that you haven't seen in a while? Do you have the day off to spend with your son or daughter? Don't make it about the food, make it about family and spending time with them. Because I know in the past, for me it's been a day about food, a day about going crazy on my mom's stuffing, but that's not going to be happening for me this year. I really, I'm not that focused on the food. I'm hosting, so at least I'll be like running around like crazy getting everything prepared. Um, and I'll focus on being a hostess and being with my family and not so much the food. Because I've had 34 other years where I've pigged out and felt horrible and I just, I don't want to do that this year. I'm on such a good streak and I want to continue it. So I'm going into Thanksgiving with a positive mind frame. Look over the options before you dig in. Maybe if you're going to someone's house and they have a buffet lined out, you know, don't just start grabbing stuff. Look it over and kind of plan out. Okay, maybe I'm going to have a little of this, I'm going to have a little of that. Or if you are hosting, you'll know what you'll be serving. So in your head, just make a game plan and decide what you're going to have ahead of time measure if possible. I plan, I'm going to be home, so I am going to measure everything. Weight Watchers does have some cool uh, measuring like utensils. I didn't buy them. I wanted to buy them. They don't even look like measuring spoons, but they are. But hey, no shame in your game, you know. Ask if you can have a half cup um, measure. I mean, that's not, maybe that's not realistic if you go to someone's house, but just eyeball it, you know, half cup, cup, and if you are home and can measure, definitely measure. And track. Definitely track the day. Track everything you ate. You'll feel so much better about it. And most of the time, I bet you'll have eaten less points than you thought you did. Because that's what happens to me. If I go what I think is going crazy, then I track. I'm like, okay, you know, it wasn't that bad. 
So definitely track, you'll be in a better mind frame, and then the next day, you just start fresh. And enjoy yourself, you know, it, it's a great day, a lot of good food is going to be served, so, you know, have your pumpkin pie, have your apple pie, and just track it, enjoy, and move on. Don't beat yourself up. And it's just one day. That's, that's like been my whole motto going into this is just one day. So I'm not going to make it a week long eating fest. It's just one day that I am going to indulge, have some really good stuff. And just have a, um, a great day. And I'll feel so much better being in control. And what did my leader call it? Um, controlled indulgence. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to indulge but know what I'm doing and enjoy the day. So those are my tips. Hopefully that helps you guys. Let's hope I can follow my own tips. So uh, we'll find out next Wednesday, right, when I weigh in if, and I'll do an update if I follow my own tips. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about some of the better choices when you're going to your Thanksgiving meal. Of course you wanna stick with white meat turkey, a three ounce portion cooked without the skin is three points plus. So figure it's one point per ounce for white meat. And always a uh, four ounce portion is going to be about the size of the palm of your hand. So have your turkey and enjoy it. If you want to have a turkey leg, a turkey leg cooked with skin is six points. If you want to have dark meat um, turkey, four ounces of dark meat cooked with skin is six points. And if you go to someone's house and they have ham, a three ounce portion of honey ham is three points plus. So protein is always a good choice. It'll help you feel fuller. <coughs> and then let's talk about the sides. Those are my favorite, of course, stuffing. So half a cup of bread stuffing prepared from mix is five points plus. Not too bad. Turkey gravy canned, a quarter of a cup, zero points. Who's having canned gravy though? So, I mean, if you are having canned gravy, at, it's zero points value, so awesome for you. But most people are gonna be making homemade gravy or at someone's house that making homemade gravy. A quarter of a cup of brown gravy is three points. So it is kind of high, but you have all the juices and the yumminess from that turkey. So use the gravy sparingly. Half cup of corn will cost you two points. The green bean casserole, one cup is six points plus. That's kind of high, I know, but it has like the cream of mushroom soup in there, it has the fried onions. So if that's your jam, I mean, go for it, you know? I, I would rather have stuffing than green bean casserole. Um, sweet potatoes, a half a cup mashed are three points plus, so that's not bad. Cranberry sauce, a quarter of a cup is three points plus. And a quarter of a cup of cranberry sauce, that's a lot of cranberry sauce, so I think that's good. Mashed potatoes, a half, of, a half a cup is only three points plus, so that's not bad at all. A biscuit with butter, six points plus. Cornbread, one piece of cornbread prepared from recipe, five points plus. It's high, but it's delicious. And if you have the points, go for it. So I'm gonna plan out my meal. I plan on having four or five ounces of white meat turkey. I'm gonna have half a cup to a cup of stuffing because that is my favorite. I'm going to have a quarter of a cup of brown gravy. I'm gonna have some sweet potatoes, half a cup. I'm gonna have cranberry sauce, quarter of a cup, half a cup to a cup of mashed potatoes. And I'll probably be able to skip the roll. So let's see, what does that come out to? Four for the turkey, five, nine, 12, 15, 18. All right, so 18 points for my meal. Not bad, right? If, if, if when it comes down to it, I don't think that's bad at all. So that's gonna be my meal. And then for desserts, let's see, apple pie one slice is gonna cost you 11 points. 
cherry pie, one slice, 13 points, pecan pie, 14 points, pumpkin pie, one slice, only eight points, and fruit salad is going to be zero points. So surprisingly, the pumpkin pie is only eight points. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to have a slice of pumpkin pie and some fresh fruit. And also it talks about here some drinks. So if I got people that watch my channel that like to drink, hey, get your drink on. Um, wine, five ounce, is only four points. A mixed drink like a vodka cranberry is only five points. Beer, a 12 ounce beer, is five points. Apple cider, eight points. Eight ounces is four points. And soft drinks, eight ounce, like a soda or fruit punch, three points. And iced tea is two points. So if you are going to drink, enjoy yourself. But maybe limit it to one or two because sometimes when you drink too much, then you kind of get heavy-handed with that stuffing spoon. So those are some of the point items for some of the most popular Thanksgiving items. And hopefully this helps you get a little bit of a idea about what you're going to eat and how many points it will cost you. Definitely go with a game plan. Have a wonderful day. I want to wish all you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for subscribing and all your support. And stay fit and fabulous. Bye!